Good morning, everybody. How are you? It is Sunday morning at 9.18 a.m. I hope everybody is well. My friend Adam is going through another crisis with his second cat. Those of you who have been following me for a long time know that um, his, ty his cat Tyler got sick back in January and he wound up passing away. And now his second cat Milo is pretty much in the same condition and it, it just kind of happened very suddenly. The very strange thing is that when he lived in Brighton, England, he had waited two years to get Milo neutered. He was like on a list. And so he had to go through two health up, he had to go through two health exams to be cleared, to be neutered. And he passed them. This was only back in September, okay? Then all of a sudden, he started getting swollen in his abdomen. And Adam got nervous, of course, and took him to the vet. The vet seems to think that he has FIP, which is kind of similar to the coronavirus. It's a virus that cats can get. And a lot of them don't make it but some of them do with treatment. And it's very upsetting to me because, and Adam, of course, because how could he have passed his health exams? Wouldn't they have known something was wrong or did it come on suddenly? Now, the new vets are saying that he probably had it, but it was laying dormant. And they feel that Tyler had FIP, but they never told Adam. And if one cat has it and they share kitty litter, they can pass it to each other. So now they are determining that Milo got this from Tyler. And they're telling Adam that he either has to put him down or give him treatment. But they will not know until tomorrow. Now, today's Sunday at 9.30. I think they're like five or six hours ahead of us. So he's going to be going for his final tests tomorrow to see how his liver is doing. And if they feel he is strong enough for FIP, cup, for FIP treatment. Now, Tyler was obviously sick when we, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when we saw him. You could tell he was very lethargic. He was very um, quiet. He didn't look well. Milo, on the other hand, looks okay. Um, of course, I'm not a doctor, okay, but I've had animals my entire life okay and he can get up and down he's getting up and down on the couch up and down on the cat tree um someone on the brink of death is not even going to be able to do that so my hope is that he is okay enough to get treatment um adam has gotten a lot of messages from people who say they have cats who had treatment and they were cured. So I am asking for your prayers today, please. Adam cannot go through this again. I mean, it's just not fair. You know, Milo was only two years old. He and Tyler were the same age, pretty much. And I just can't imagine losing two of your children, basically. Our, our pets are our children, you know. And I just can't imagine having to go through that twice. And I don't, I don't want him to go through that again. Because 
doing it once is bad enough, but having to do it again seven, eight months later just is not fair, you know, and we never get over losing our cats or dogs. I mean, we lost Storm. He was 14. He was our, he was our great. Russian blue cat, just like Milo is, and um, he was 14, and all of a sudden, he just couldn't walk. It was very wobbly, and uh, we took him to the vet, and they tried to treat him, but he didn't make it, and that was 29, 2009. I still cry over him. I mean, he was our soulmate whenever we didn't feel good. He would come up and he would sit on our chest, and he was the most loving cat, a lot like Milo. And I still grieve over him. I will always grieve over Vivi, and um, I just can't imagine. So please, for those of you who believe in God and believe in prayer, please pray for Milo today. He's so young. And he deserves a chance. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.